I do hope that you are feeling a little bit better. First of all, do not be afraid and frightened and angry that you are angry. Anger is a natural emotion that all human beings experience, even animals. It's just learning to manage your anger so that you feel healthier, better, and you don't cause any damage to yourself and others and things. So by taking a deep breath, or by breathing from your abdominal area, that's why I keep on pointing down here, breathe from your abdominal. So breathe into your belly, you expand your diaphragm, you expand your belly, you're taking in more oxygen, you also calm your nervous system down and that's the most important thing because when you're angry it's an automatic reaction, the body doesn't have time to learn that something is dangerous or not, it's just an automatic reaction to an emotion, it could be of frustration, it could be of sadness, it could be um, even depression, it can even be of something that you expected, so it turned up uh, someone is violating you, what a perceived right um, and need is all sorts of reasons why we feel angry. So we're sort of learning to manage that emotion. So the first step is sort of let it out because the body releases all the blood into your hands and arms and legs so you're ready to fight. Okay, the opposite is also true. You could just go into a corner and close up. But assuming that you are feeling very angry, okay, uh, either if you bottle up or not, if you exteriorize physically and verbally. So by um, one acknowledging that emotion, anger, so to stay with it and to let it out in a safe way, scream out loud, because, well, you could scream out loud, but the danger of that, you are damaging your vocal cords. So that doesn't do you any any good and also you after you'll feel guilty that you shouted at your partner or child or whoever that is or family so you feel guilty about it you might even say things that you might regret um, so the best thing is just scream quietly this way don't damage your voice hope you don't damage your voice but you're exteriorizing that energy okay also by opening your mouth <sighs> You're releasing tension because whenever we get angry you get very tensed around our jaw these muscles get tensed because we are ready to attack focus on one single thing that we perceive that is a threat so releasing that tension so you are helping your body to return to a state of balance the breathing again from your abdominal helps your body calm down your nervous system Okay, very important. That's why if you try to release the energy and also if you try to calm yourself down in a moment of anger just by breathing, you might find it very difficult because you've got too much energy, the body's ready to attack. But by closing your eyes, you immediately shut all the sensory information around you so you don't have that overload of listening and seeing. So you automatically is going to reduce that load by connecting into your breathing um, and giving, for instance, five um, breaths in and out, it gives your brain a little point of focus. Now, when we are in automatic anger mode, that are, we're not rational and it's very difficult to stay rational in the moment. So if you first try to rescue your body, okay, by allowing it to cool down, to calm down, the mind will also calm down. And the physical exercise, whatever it is that you choose, either punching the air, releasing that energy out of your muscles, out of your arms and, and hands, the tension out of your mouth, ah, screaming, ah, all of that combined with the breathing to calm down. And then when you close your eyes, just send some loving energy to yourself. Forgiveness or healing or peace, whatever it is that you need in the moment, or calm down simply, calm down, stay calm, stay calm. You are giving yourself a chance to return to a state of balance, calmness. So you're leaving your left side of the brain or right side of the brain. I get this thing meddled up. There is one side of the brain. 
that deals with the automatic reaction. And there's the other side of the brain that it deals with the more rational side. On a more rational side, you can still express your anger, but in a more um, assertive manner rather than aggression. So you will still express yourself. You would still share where, with whoever you think you're angry with or acknowledge to yourself that you're angry. It could even be with yourself, it doesn't matter. Um, so you acknowledge that, but it's much easier to do that once you calm your body down. First you calm your body and your mind by focusing on something and then your mind will follow suit, meaning then you will be in a more in a better position to express yourself. You can even use writing, just write it down while you're angry. Well, you can, I know you could use someone to talk to and let it out and that can be helpful. It is true and sometimes we have a need to be heard. To a certain extent I do encourage that, but I don't encourage that all the time because then you're constantly living and reliving and reliving and reliving and definitely don't go around sharing the whole world because then you're living the same problem again and again and again and again. Yes, do focus on the solution and read, uh, listen to, um, there's a lot of information out there on the internet um, and even on shops that you could buy. Um, yes, do ask some friends and, and acquaintances, it can even be a priest or whoever it is that you trust. Um, for some guidance and some advice you can read uh, books are, are excellent because you can take whatever it is that you resonate with and then leave the rest behind uh, without getting attached no one gets upset no one gets defensive and you go at the pace that suits you so that's very very good so seek help out there that is help out there um, anger is an emotion that you will have for the rest of your life so don't expect to get rid of it because you won't happen I'm afraid because we are human, human human beings that are wired to respond to situations that make us feel angry as a way to protect ourselves and our survival but by managing um, you avoid things, hurting yourself like I said others and destroying things I hope this helps and I hope the exercise helped you to calm down so the exercises I did is when you are on your hands you're using force to support your body so some of that strength and anger that you had in your body is already being exteriorated is already being released so that helps a little bit using that anger in a productive positive way by having your head down you're also sending a bit of blood to your brain and it's helping you again calm down and feel a little bit um, more in control okay and then the exercises of a little laughter just to lighten up a little bit because laughter definitely for me is the best medicine you don't have to agree but I think the only thing we can agree is that whenever we laugh we always feel a tiny little bit better a um, tiny little bit lighter and we can rescue a very tense and angry situation into a, a much lighter mode so it's very difficult to laugh when you're angry or when you're far, when you've got too much momentum, it's very, very, very difficult. So it's always better to manage your emotions throughout the day, bit by bit. Make sure you've got plenty of rest, that's very important. The minute you cut on your sleep and it's so hard these days with so much um, stimulation out there, so many fun things, so many good things. Um, the internet is the, is the culprit as well because it, it gives us some of our needs. Okay, we can have fun and learn and get distracted, but equally creates addiction. So it's important to sort of keep it balanced and in check. Make sure you eat healthy. Uh, make sure you exercise regularly because the exercise releases the tension, but also um, creates some good energy, but also releases endorphins, and which are certain hormones, if I've got the right term terminology it just in essence makes you feel better makes you f so each time you exercise the body feels better and the body rewards you with this good feeling okay so don't worry too much if you don't know because <laughs> I get the words muddled up and the exact words sometimes I get it right sometimes I don't but in essence in simple words means 
uh, each time you exercise, each time you have sex, of course, with the right person, uh, and in love, um, each time you move, each time you get fresh air, you feel better, you feel calmer, you feel happier. But you're also encouraging yourself to smile a little and laugh a little. You lighten up the load.